All right, hi, Richard Moore from Makes Tip Startup here. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, persuasion, so talking about persuasive language, being persuasive, maybe you're a manager of a team. Uh, maybe you are trying to sell. A lot of my clients are selling um, their products maybe on a cold call, possibly in person as well. And, and the, the thing is, being persuasive requires uh, certain basic traits that you have about you. And, and um, I was asked yesterday afternoon if I could um, respond to the idea, you know, or, or to the question, you know, what can I do to be more persuasive? Um, you know, that's a massive course in itself. And, and just keeping things simple, I thought, um, you know, I put down at least a few basics here for you. So in short, if you want to be persuasive, let's let's look at three fundamentals here that you can take away from, from this video. Firstly, look at your language, okay? Are you being collaborative in your language or are you being selfish? Now, you may have a very honorable approach. You may really have a great product as well. You may really want to help someone, but if your, um, your language is uh, such that you're saying things like, so what I want to do is I want to show you how I think I can help you, or what I want you to do is join my service, because I think that will help. What you think doesn't really matter, okay? And in fact, unless you really earn the right, uh, to get to a point where you're like a consultant and someone would actually has actually paid for your advice then really you got to stop that and cut that kind of language out and across a conversation or a sales pitch if you're peppering it with words like us we and let's as opposed to I me or you you're going to talk a lot more collaboratively so it sounds a bit more like so let's have a look at what's going to happen when we're working together you know it's a slight change but as I say across a conversation it has a profound effect okay so look at being a bit more collaborative in your language second you need to relate to people so if you're managing people if you're selling to people whatever it might be interacting with other human beings um, is lubricated heavily by you showing that you relate to them and there's this classic saying which is people by people and it's tremendously accurate here because when someone loves your product when someone buys into your sales technique you're, you've got them halfway there, but what's gonna really make them want to buy from you specifically, well, that's how you relate to them. Are you someone that, you know, they get on with? Are you someone that they really like? Um, and it sounds silly and a bit intangible or touchy-feely, but showing you relate to me, you're just another human being that has common interests, even on some small level, you know what? That really makes a difference. But you've got to go practice this because it can be a bit contrived. And someone who is a bit too agreeable, who always seems to have exactly what I have in, uh, you know, have in common exactly uh, the same things as, as I do, you know, it, it starts looking a little bit like they're, they're faking it. So you just got to be a little bit careful with saying, yeah, me too, to everything. But having said that, it, it's good to say, you know, yeah, I, I, I can relate to that. I, I feel I see what your point is. And, and um, sharing like that will make them feel a little bit closer to you as on a friend level and so people will confide in you more, they'll give you more juicy details, they'll tell you what they're after and that helps of course with selling. And finally, if we look at um, the actual product you're selling itself or the idea or the concept, you know, you, you've got to use visual language or you've got to paint a picture, you know, you've got to, you've got to describe with imagery what it's going to feel like and look like and be like when you're actually working with them. Don't just describe nuts and bolts and concepts and how they work. Describe it in a sense where someone can really see uh, themselves doing it. So you may not have this person as an existing customer yet if you're selling to them, but saying to them, you know, can you imagine when you're working with us here's what your you know what your service is going to look like or you know when you've been here three or four weeks time we're going to be talking like this and you know this will happen and that will happen as well and you know something a bit more embellished will give you a sense that um, uh, you're able to convey to them what their life is actually going to be like when they have your product it's a little bit more effective than just simply explaining how your product works and John Hughes the sales director at Red Bull I was in touch with a while back he said to me Richard you've got to you've got to make sure you always listen so that you can adjust your pitch to your audience 
So rather than going in, and this is something I was teaching in London this week, rather than going in with an off-the-shelf prescribed approach, I'm going to sell you X, you need to be a little bit more uh, open and thinking, well, if I listen to them, my job here is to tailor the, my pitch, tailor my package, and, uh, and then paint a picture around what that would look like for them. So hope that helps. Try and be a bit more persuasive through more collaborative language, through making sure you relate to them on a social level, not too over the top. Don't take them for beers necessarily, unless that's uh, how your sale normally works. And with your product, paint a picture a bit more. Listen in to them and then adjust uh, how you're speaking to make sure that that particular audience uh, is being told the kind of things that are going to resonate with them. Speak to you soon. Hope that helps.